Hello and welcome back to Code with Vinay. Today we are going to learn how to write a recursive Java program to find the maximum element in an array. Note that this video is not about recursion in general. If you need to brush up your concept in recursion, you may refer to my earlier video titled Mastering Recursion in Java, Understanding the Concept and Implementing Simple Recursive Methods. You can find the link to that video in the description below. So, let's get started. I have already written the outline, so I have to save some time. The main method is the entry point of the program where everything starts executing. And the main method contains our test case. Here we have an array called array with some values. Then we are invoking our method find maximum with the array as an argument and the return value is being stored in the integer variable maximum. We are then displaying the maximum with the message maximum element is followed by the value of the maximum element which in this case will be 5 when the program is complete. Also notice that the method find maximum is overloaded. There are two definitions of find maximum. I have done this so that the user is not bothered with passing the index value which is required for the recursive step. The user will invoke the method normally and pass the array as an argument like we are doing at line number 12 of which the maximum element is to be found. We will then call the recursive find maximum and pass the appropriate value of the index. Let's begin with the actual coding. The find maximum method is a helper method that we'll be using to find the maximum element recursively. It takes an integer array as a parameter. First, we check if the array is null or empty. If it is, we throw an exception to indicate that the array must have at least one element. You may also simply print a message, but the better way is to throw an exception. So, we'll check, we'll say if array is equal to null. This will happen when no new operator was used to allocate an array or if the array is empty that is if array dot length equals zero in both of these cases now there are two ways of handling this. The not so good method is we say system dot out dot println and then we print the message that array must not be empty or null that is one way of doing it and if you are using this method please understand the function is supposed to return an integer so we'll have to return an unlikely value over here and let's say our unlikely value is integer dot min value now the problem with this approach is that if and that's a very extreme case but may be possible that if the array actually contains an integer dot min value, then this is not a good idea. So the better idea is that I remove this, but before removing this, I'll just copy this message. The better way of doing this is that we must throw an exception. We can say throw new and the most appropriate exception is illegal argument exception. And then we'll pass the same message that is array must not be null or empty. And now we need not return anything from here. Next, we call our overloaded version of the find maximum method, passing the array and the starting index as arguments. And this is where the actual recursion happens. So we'll say return find maximum and we'll pass the array and the starting index and we are passing the value zero. Now please understand, we may start from zero and move towards the maximum value or we may start from the maximum index and move towards zero. I usually prefer going from the beginning to the end. Now let's code our recursive find maximum method which accepts an integer array and the starting index. And as I mentioned, we'll start with the index zero. Now we'll check if the current index, that is the start index is equal to the last index of the array. If it is, then we have reached the end of the array and we simply return the element at that index. Let's do it. So we'll say if start index 
equals array dot length minus one and if that is the case we'll say return the value at the start index so return the value at start index if the current index is not the last index we'll recursively call the find maximum method passing the array and the next index that is start index plus one as argument and this step moves us closer to the end of the array with each recursive call so i'll say int max is equal to find maximum and we'll pass the array and the next index that is start index plus one we have stored the result of the recursive call in the variable max next we will compare the element at the current index that is array of start index with the maximum found so far if the current element is greater than the maximum we update the max variable let's code it so we'll say if array of start index that is if the value at the current index is more than max then max should be equal to this value so we'll say max is equal to array at start index and finally we'll return the max value that is we'll say return max and this completes our implementation now we'll run the program and see if we are getting the correct value that is 5 or not note that the maximum value in this case is 5 so we'll go and run the program now and there we are we are getting the maximum value 5 which is our correct answer and with this we have reached the end of this video you can now recursively find the maximum value of an array using recursion i hope this lesson was helpful please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then happy coding your feedback is valuable to me i want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful you can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels